Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about how we can apply dense rank with the Power BI DAX expression. Now, let's get started. Here, I have one scenario. I have two tables in my database. First one is facility doctor and second one is wait time. Actually, my database table are in one to many relationship. So for the doct one doctor ID here, there will be a multiple wait time. Now at the end, I need a result something like this. For an example, if there is a doctor ID, there is a physician name and now every physician have his average wait time. For an example, uh, this user has an average wait time as 5, this has 6, this has 11 and above 3 has 0 wait time. So I want to give a rank based on their service. Like for an example, if the wait time is 0, it should be represented at 1 rank. If the rank time is 5, then 2. Then based on this order of average, I want to represent the rank. Now how can I achieve it using Power BI? Now let's get started. First, I have two values with my facility doctor table that is doctor ID and name of physician. I have added both the values over here. Now I wanted to found, find out the average of the wait time. So I will create one measure for it and I am applying the measure name as average. I already have this formula so I am just copying this formula and paste it over here. Uh, one more thing that I want to add here that I have uploaded uh, this Power BI file, Power BI sample file as well as data source file on the GitHub. You can directly download the files from the GitHub. And this is my C Sharp corner profile in which you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and GitHub. And whenever you click on this GitHub link, you are redirecting to my Power BI profile. And here you have an example of this dense rank sample. And I also provided the same link within the description box. So you don't need to write any formula uh, in your book. So you can directly download it from the GitHub profile. Now I'm just click on average and I, my average function is created. Now I just add my average function here. So I am getting the average for the each of the physician. Now I wanted to show its rank over here, right? So for the rank, I am using the rank X formula over here. So first of all, I am giving the name of my measure that is the rank. Now I am using the rank x formula over here. So rank x formula will return the rank. First of all, we need to select a table on which we need to apply the rank. So I am selecting the facility doctor table over here, but I am writing all expression here because I don't want it to apply any filter on my table when I am evoluting my dex expression over there. So I am just writing all in the facility doctor because I want to apply my dex expression on that particular facility doctors table, right? Now I just need to provide the expression over here. So I want to apply the rank based on average. So the formula that I have created with the average measure I need to write over here. Then it asks for the value parameter that is the optional parameter. I am ignoring that parameter. Now uh, based on ascending or descending you can set your order. So currently I am setting the descending order over here. And now I am selecting dense rank from here because I need the continuous rank value from here. Uh, I will also explain you uh, what will happen if I select the skip in this formula. So I am just entering the value creating the formula now i'm just putting the my rank function now if you can see here i have selected the descending order that's why the zero lowest value is set as a highest rank and the highest value has been set as a first rank but i want to show zero wait time as a first rank so i just change the order from here so i am selecting ascending from here and now let's check the value if we check the value we can see here the zero value is represented as one then two three four five and the highest value is re represented highest wait time as a last rank right so this is how my rank function is work right now 
what we need to do here is we need to add skip function here right i am writing a skip over here then what will happen let's see skip function will not provide you the continuous number within your table for an example if the zero are if we have three times zero number right then it set its rank as a one so it it calculate as one two three then the next order the five average is represented as four instead of two so if you need the continuous number within your rank you need to use dance rank otherwise you need to write skip here so it will just keep the number of time the rank has been repeated so this is how my rank function will work hope this is clear for you now uh, i will update the same video in the form of an article on c sharp corner you can follow me at there if you have any question related to this video or this topic you can mail me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can also whatsapp me on plus 919537981467 or you can also follow me on facebook twitter linkedin and github thank you so much for watching this video thank you